day in the life of a wedding planner wedding day edition at the ebell of long beach so let's start from the top i woke up around 7 45 or 8 it's a little bit later than i usually wake up but because i knew i had a long night ahead of me i decided to sleep in I had a couple time sensitive emails that I needed to get to, so I did that pretty quickly and then had breakfast with Joe. I didn't have to get to the venue until 2 p.m., so I had a pretty slow morning, which was really nice. Although I did get this email during breakfast, which was just a small request from the groom that we happily did. He just wanted us to stop by the hotel to grab the groomsmen gifts and set them before they came. After getting ready for the day, I just checked our little kit that we bring with us to every wedding. It just has different little items like band-aids, glue, rope, string, just a bunch of random things that we typically will need on a wedding day. I also made sure to eat a quick little lunch before heading out because, again, I knew it was going to be a long day. I got to the venue a little bit early, around 1.30, because I needed to unload my stuff and then just got straight into setup. I checked in on the bride, and that was her beautiful bouquet. The motif of this wedding was goth, um, kind of inspired by My Chemical Romance. It was a cool vibe and just kind of like a nice change of pace, and it works with this venue because it is slightly moody. If you watch my vlogs, you know how the day rolls. I usually lead out the timeline, so this is me getting some tissues to dry off the bouquet for the bride and the bridesmaids because they were doing photos. So I usually just kind of pop my head in and out just to make sure everything is running on time. We got into ceremony, and meanwhile, the girls were double-checking reception, and this is where Callista found a dirty glass. <laughs> and, of course, we asked for them to replace it because, you know, all in the details got the marriage license signed, open reception doors, and I grabbed myself a Sprite, which is a tradition that I always do. I never drink sodas unless I'm at a wedding and it's always a glass of Sprite. Got our vendor meals on time, no problem, which is always a plus. And look at the cutest photo booth that they got. It was like this old school enclosed photo booth, which was so cute. I loved it. And they had these like velvet curtains. It was just one of the coolest photo booths I've seen in a while. And here were the prints. Again, the design of this wedding was dark and moody and gothy, so this is what I came up for them. We did a lot of red flowers, which was so cool. I just never, ever see that in weddings, rarely, so it was a nice change of pace. We breezed through family photos because they had a pretty small shot list. I put their cake topper on top of their cake and then also added in some florals and then we just flipped and restyled this space because this was where ceremony was but we had to flip it to the dessert table so we added all of the candles, the flowers, all that good stuff. And then the night finally ended and one of my fun jobs as a coordinator is having to wait until the rental company has counted everything. This isn't always the case, but I usually have to stay and sign off. So I was out the door at 12 a.m. 